My name is Shanshel Cherie. I'm just a regular girl in a world of beautiful shoes that don't fit me. That's the part. Okay, so like, am I like an alien? Am I foreign? Like, I am a woman that apparently suffers from chronic extended size feet. When I go to a store and I am welcomed by the aroma of fresh leather. I go in and I pick up a shoe that I fancy, I love. And then I go to the sales associate and I say, sales associate, or whatever their name is. So I just say, Janice, could you please do me a favor and get me this amazing shoe at full price? Could you just check and see if they have my size in it? Please. Janice asked me this question. I don't like to tell her. I, I, I don't really like to tell any sales associates. If you're a girl with extended size feet, then you automatically understand where I'm coming from. So she asked me the question. What size can I get for you? And I look at her kind of raise my eyebrows same same way an 11 of defeat washes over her because she doesn't know she has a size 11 but she's gonna go and look for me to see if they have it in that size and I'm like handle your scandal right <clears throat> Janice comes back outside and it's still with the sample shoe that we pulled from the sales floor, which automatically lets me know. I, as well as my pocketbook, highly offended. I don't have small feet. It's rude. And it's discriminatory. Feet are actually getting bigger. They're not getting smaller. People are not going and reaching for size fours. Case packs range normally from a five to 10. And they have upgraded this now to six to, to 11s. Meaning that they get the drift that we're actually buying customers, but they don't really understand how important it is to get us shoes that are gorgeous. We just want options. We want options but at least women that have a size eight or a size eight and a half or a nine they have the option to go up at least a size or two now um but for us who i'm a size 11 typically when i try to get a designer shoe i'm a 42 or a 43 and that almost never happens and if it does the shoe is stepsister to an orthopedic shoe or a kitten heel which i freaking resent i vintage shop i like to wear fun snazzy clothes i mean even today it has some detailing around the neck and the back is amazing what am i supposed to wear with this an orthopedic shoe no honestly i pay full price for most of my shoes 95 percent of my shoes are full price that's something that Companies really need to consider it was just time to voice this. I'm just a regular girl in a world of beautiful shoes that don't fit me I tried to fight it off so hard <laughs> Janae. 
I'm gonna go with generic. 